And and the leading candidates um, who could potentially um, step in right now, Kamala Harris is still at number one. I guess that's that's logical. I was intrigued. Then Hillary, um, Bernie Sanders, Gavin Newsom. Is, is should we make anything of that, or is that just these are the names we know and we'll toss them uh, out in the event of being asked? Harris has a slightly growing edge uh, in these numbers, but still. 28% is nothing that couldn't be defeated. Um, if she had 40% or 60% as a second choice, then you would say, um, you know, she would definitely would be the one. I think she comes in with a with an edge over everybody else if there is one. But right now, frankly, I wouldn't speculate too much of that. I think that you're more likely to see Donald Trump have a real contest in the primary, as unlikely as people think it is. Uh, and be challenged uh, by either DeSantis or more likely now Nikki Haley with some kind of strong showing in New Hampshire that sets off a real primary race. So I don't see Biden stepping aside, pulling out, doing anything. He's got the, the party machinery and the unified Democratic Party behind him. Uh, he's just got to improve his presidency. Trump, on the other hand, I think could face a primary here. Let's see where we go in the next 30 to 45 days.